Hello and welcome to Elements of Spirit, the new free weekly reading series from ediblespirit.com and me, Michael Dmitrovich. Um, these are readings through the elements, uh, earth, air, water, and fire, and the fifth element, ether. Um, I'm uh, going to do the readings differently this week, um, organizing them into chunks. So we'll do each of them separately, earth, air, water, fire, ether. This will be the ether reading. Um, remembering that even though they're not astrological readings, that's how we're organizing them, is uh, through your astrological sun sign, each of which is associated with one of the classical elements of Earth, Air, Water, Fire. Um, Earth is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Air is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, fire is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, water is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we're going to dive into the ether readings, which are the fifth element, which would technically include all of the rest of the elements. Um, once you listen to this, you can jump to your own reading or um, listen to all of them. I highly recommend listening to as many as you like um, because these elements don't just exist in a vacuum. They exist in some combination. Um, the vacuum in which they do exist is thought of as the ether, the fifth element, uh, which uh, contains them all and pervades them all. So um, I will be giving you a reading for the element, how to work with your element, um, what the element is sort of saying to me, saying to you, to guide you, guide us through the week, um, starting with this element, uh, the ether, um, which I'm reading as kind of like the general tone of the space that we all find ourselves in at this time. Um, and coming right out of the ether in a very decisive way, Ooh, yes, I should say, the channel's really open because I've already prepared a uh, candle, sage, um, uh, nail polish, fresh, um, to make this space nice and flowy and open and easy uh, for this guidance, information, insight, experience to come through. Um, so yeah, so the thing that comes out is uh, right away is, is gratitude. Um, and let me be clear, uh, I... I tend to clench my butt cheeks every, one every time someone mentions, mentions more gratitude, even though I know it works and I am one who is mentioning gratitude all the time. Um, gratitude is a very powerful vibration. It has the ability to lift other things up. Um, but what I find, oh, gratitude and letting go. Letting go makes me like want to go crazy when someone tells me to let go. Because if I could be grateful in the moment, or if I was capable of letting something go, I always think, yeah, then I would be grateful or I would be letting it go. But obviously that's what I'm having a problem with. So, but thank you to everyone who's ever reminded me to be grateful, to cultivate the attitude of gratitude and to let something go. Um, in this case, gratitude is coming forth as a, um, sort of to grease the wheels uh, for self-care, for self-care. And the way I'm feeling it is that there's going to be a kind of wonky moment uh, in, in the ether. This is coming through the ether. Um, around Tuesday, Wednesday, late Tuesday, into the day on Wednesday, in which it's going to be hard to find gratitude and in which it's going to seem nigh impossible to cultivate self-care. Um, but, uh, the way in which we're being urged to cultivate gratitude and a way in which I actually love to do it is to be very extreme about it, to not just sort of find one little thing that you're grateful for, because it, again, if you could do that, it would be easy and you would be doing it. Hey, if you can do it and you're doing it, awesome, <laughs> disregard all of this. Um, but if it's challenging, uh, the guidance is actually to get more extreme with it. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, the old kind of guilt trippy thing to get you to eat your food off of your plate. There's millions of starving children in Africa. Um, there are, there are, um, atrocities, horrible things happening all over the place. Um, uh, oh, and, and, uh, limbs, limbs, I'm seeing limbs. Uh, um, if you think about the people that are missing their left arm, you're going to be really grateful that you have a left arm. Um, right arm, same thing. Both arms, even better. Uh, both legs, I'm so grateful to have both legs. Uh, what if you don't have both legs? If you don't have both legs, how grateful are you to be alive to be pissed off about not having your legs? Um, uh, doesn't really matter what you're grateful for as long as you find some little thing to be grateful for. 
because the vibration of gratitude is is um, uplifting, uh, it it refocuses your whole frequency. Because especially when it's hard for you to find it, um, if you are reminded, like I've been reminded, and you do find it, it can take all of the stuff that's kind of piled on top of you and make it a mound upon which you're standing. Um, and, and the sort of top, you know, stone or pile on that mound is the gratitude. And now everything else is kind of fallen down around it. So gratitude can actually help your perspective to rise and clear and focus so that you can have clarity. Um, oh, but, but, but even more importantly, the way um, I'm receiving this is that the gratitude is actually meant to grease the wheels for self-care. Because if you have nothing to be grateful for, if your perspective is clouded, if you're feeling really foggy, if you're overwhelmed by everything that's going on around you, why would you want to take care of anything? It's like, this is not a state that I want to sustain so why would I nurture this state? And that's, that's the vibe I'm getting is that um, uh, I'm not sure if this is like a specific event or most likely it's coming through the ether. So it just feels like it's going to be in the space, um, in my space, your space, and, and even in the space on the world. It does feel big, the space of the world. Um, it feels big uh, to the point where it's going to be hard for us to take care of ourselves um, or to find a reason to take care of ourselves, to be incentivized to take care of ourselves. And that's where the, the gratitude practice comes in um, uh, in order to clear the perspective and, and, and the guidance to do it in an extreme way, to think about dark shit, because uh, uh, in order to be grateful that you are not being subjected to that dark shit, I think a lot of times... Um, uh, especially if you do have a lot to be grateful for, um, as I do, it can be easy not to turn a blind eye, but just to sort of turn the volume down on all of the horrible, chaotic things that are happening because you can become so overwhelmed that it's like easier to not listen and or not pay attention so that I can then redirect my energy into something that is actually useful. Um, but in this case, the guidance is don't turn away, titrate, use, scoop up some of that crazy, scoop up some of that dark, scoop, scoop up some of that stuff that, that makes you want to shut down in order to use it to remind yourself that you have a damn good reason to be grateful because you're not a, a victim of abuse or violence or because you were and you survived, you know. Um, so it's, it's saying like, go to the dark place so that you can clear and find the perspective so that you are then incentivized to take care of yourself. Um, if we all took care of ourselves, we would have a lot more energy to take care of each other. Um, and I, I even kind of have a theory that like self-healing, which some people poo-poo as being indulgent, oh, indulgent, leisure time, you know, um, uh, is very necessary because if you don't heal yourself, if you don't take care of yourself, you have no energy, you can't take care of anyone else, you can't do your service in the world. And sometimes I feel like, can't we have like a global agreement um, to um, all promise to take care of someone else before we take care of ourselves? And if we all promise to take care of the earth um, more than we try to like get shit or, or accomplish it, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't most things be a lot better? Um, uh, and I'm not saying we're going to get there this week, obviously. I realize that there are many, many problems in the way that are preventing us from just taking care of each other and just taking care of the earth. But one of the missing links, I think, is all of the distraction and all of the stuff that comes at us that incentivizes us to not take care of ourselves to the point where we become so overwhelmed that we have no gratitude and we have no ability to cultivate gratitude. <sighs> Interesting. So really, it does feel like by the time we get to Wednesday, um, we're going to want to be nurturing ourselves, taking care of ourselves, um, clearing and finding that gratitude Tuesday into Wednesday night so that we can move through the week uh, 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 yeah, giving ourselves what we need so that in the ether, so that we can get more done in the world using these other elements of earth, air, water, fire, um, practical things, emotional things, um, uh, uh, figuring stuff out, 
or really big existential things. Am I happy? What's going on? Um, how do I feel approaching this holiday season? We, we get into a very reflective time this year looking back. Um, this week is not going to cover the solstice. You know, the solstice is going to be uh, uh, 21st. Um, but we are hopping into a uh, 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 full moon time uh, on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, I believe it's Tuesday. Um, I might be wrong. I can't remember. Um, but because, again, this is not an astrological reading, so I'm not trying to give you uh, moon sign stuff. Um, it just, there's going to be a peak of energy. Oh, awesome. Into Tuesday. Um, and then carrying over into Wednesday, where stuff feels, uh, feels like problems become very clear to all of us. We all know what we're up against, what we're dealing with. And the idea might be to start chipping away at the problems that reveal themselves Tuesday into Wednesday. But the idea is, is that we actually have to clear some space, clear perspective, rise up, rise above, and from that solid vantage point resting on a hill of gratitude, um, we are incentivized to take care of ourselves, give ourselves what we need Wednesday, Thursday, Friday while working. And interesting, Saturday, Sunday is not, uh, this is not going to be an easy, chill weekend. Um, and this is when the holidays does actually come into it. This is going to be kind of the last weekend before we can, that we can take care of stuff before we have to get into the real holiday, holiday mode. It's, it's already happening. I'm in Miami. I had to run down to Miami, which is a little weird. Um, that's why I'm wearing my Detroit hat to remind myself that it's not actually summertime right now. Um, but there's that kind of intensity in the air where, you know, we got to do a lot of stuff that maybe we don't want to do, you know, a lot of stuff that, um, uh, we should be grateful for, but put a gun to someone's head and tell them to be grateful. And it's, it's hard, you know? So, um, just remembering that, um, we're next weekend is not going to be a weekend of, of easy peasy chill time. It's actually going to be more of a um, uh, time to continue activating the earth, air, water, fire that started really uh, percolating and and activating come Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's, it, it, we're going to want you're going to want you. We are going to want to use time wisely Saturday and Sunday to attend to practical, emotional, mental, existential, spiritual uh, uh, affairs because come, moving into the following week, uh, retrograde happens, Mercury retrograde starts. So that's going to be really awesome during the travel season. Um, and then, uh, and then it will be, you know, holidays, New Year's, all of that stuff. So, um, Oh, very nice. I hope my guides do this through all of this. That That's a feeling that I get when a reading is kind of done. It clears, and um, that's going to be my opportunity to move on to the other ones. Uh, I'm grateful. I'm clear. I am allowed to give myself what I need. Um, say it until you believe it. I'm grateful. I'm clear. I am allowed to give myself what I need. feels like you're going to want to use those all in combination or take little chunks of them throughout the week. But especially, like I said, around Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I am grateful. I am clear. I am allowed to give myself what I need. Um, tune into Earth, Air, Water, Fire readings for this week, December 12th, right here on the YouTube channel, somewhere down there, or like over there, over there, I don't know. Okay, see you soon.